Hello, everybody, and welcome to our first session of data visualization for this May Mester. Um, this is exciting. This is my first time teaching an entire course online. So hopefully you'll all bear with me as we get through this. It's also a super fast semester. It's only three weeks. Um, I don't know what this would have been like if we were meeting in person. We'd all become like really close best friends. Um, being so close to each other every day for like three hours. Um, but now we're all meeting asynchronously, we're all meeting at home, taking care of kids, um, taking care of loved ones, social distancing, and this is super awful times right now, but we're meeting together to learn about data visualization, to entertain, entertain ourselves during this pandemic. And so um, I'm excited to spend the next three weeks with you and get to know you um, better and then we can make beautiful art and graphics together. Um, so um, let's go ahead and get started with the, the lecture for today and the content for today. Um, today's exciting because we're not actually doing much with um, data yet, um, except for learning how to do R and learning how to use RStudio and you'll get lots of practice with that in the, in the different exercises and the lessons. Um, but what is going to be helpful for framing the rest of this semester is looking at kind of the nature of data and the nature of art and beauty and why we care about visualizing data. Um, you're all very interested in creating beautiful graphs. Um, in the survey that you filled out before class, um, the majority of you said that you're super interested in taking this class because you want to make pretty things. Um, you want to create things that are um, understood by the general public so that people can understand your statistical findings. You want to communicate science better. Um, you care about this. Um, and the reason you care about this is because, uh, as we'll talk about today, um, there's this deep human need for stories and for art and um, for finding truth in things. And data visualization lets us do that with um, raw data and with numbers. And so um, before we learn how to do all of the practical things with running ggplot and making scatter plots and things like that, um, it's helpful to talk about kind of the foundations of data visualization, the foundations of art and truth. Um, so as wishy-washy and as humanities oriented as that sounds, it is very important. Um, I am slightly biased towards this. Um, as I said in my introductory email, um, I made or I minored in um, graphic design. Um, I double majored in Arabic and in Italian literature, and so I have background in the humanities um, before I went and got a PhD in public policy and stats and all of this, this complicated um, scientific stuff. Um, but the humanities are still very important for understanding the world, and so we're going to incorporate the humanities and kind of the, sci the hard science side and the computer science side and combine those in this class so that we can um, learn more about the world. So let's go ahead and get started. If you open up the slides for today at the course website, um, you can follow along or you can reference them later um, and have them as kind of a reference for this class in perpetuity. So let's go ahead and look at the slides. And if you'll notice, I'm down here in the corner and I can point stuff out. And if I ever get in the way, I should be able to turn myself off um, like that. And now I'm gone. But we'll put myself back here because then it feels more like I'm talking to people and you're talking or listening to me. I'm imagining you all um, very enthusiastically nodding along with everything I say and participating. So do that and it'll make me feel better as I talk to my webcam here. Um, so what we're going to do today, the plan for today, is um, we're going to talk about a few things here. We're going to talk about... Um, the combination of facts, truth, and beauty, and what the relationship is between those three things. Then we're going to bring in um, the concept of data and how that's related to both truth and beauty. Um, we're going to talk about what makes visualizations beautiful and why we care about them being beautiful. Um, then we'll go over some of the, the details for the class and kind of give a final pep talk before you launch into your, um, your crash course into R for this mini-mester. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 